Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about finishing your pattern. If you look here, you can see that this was the number one starting point pretty much throughout the basket. You can tell that by the difference here. Then we changed to red and went on. But when you start spiraling, your pattern, and therefore your beginning point, moves, in this case, to the right. And you can tell that because I'm here at the end, I've got three rows of red, and then I have one, two, three rows of red spiraling to the right. Well, I have to finish this pattern. If I would finish it right here, then each one of these would not have three on it. So I keep going to the right because I've moved to the right with the pattern. So I know when this pattern is done, when I've got one, two, three in a row, and I also have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So let's see, that's one, one too many. One, two, three, I should be back here, of the yellow. So it means I've gone a little bit too far. So let's check it again. So I need to have one, two, three red spiraling all the way around. And I also need to have one, two, three yellow stacked together. So one, two, three yellow stacked together. One, two, three red. So all the way around I've got spirals of three stacked yellow and three stacked red. And if you look, that, that uh, this was our original starting point. We've moved over by three and we have three rows of spiral. So you can figure for all, however many rows of spiral you have, your design is going to move over by one stake. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to do two rows of black, doing a triple twine. And then I'm going to do this same design in reverse in two different colors. And I'm going to have the red points and whatever dark points I got coming this way so that they meet, but we'll get there.